Good morning. Uh, congratulations to JR and Lauren for that really amazing uh, accomplishment and, and privilege of, uh, from, the, from Miami Beach. Um, today, as you can see, I'm not wearing a jacket. I'm not wearing a white coat. And if you came to my office in New York, you see I, I'm not wearing a white coat. I'm not wearing a jacket. I don't have a stethoscope around my neck. I'm basically talking to my patients the way I'm going to be speaking to all of you, one-on-one. -on -one. And I think it's really a privilege for me and for my wife to, to come here every year and speak in front of this august body of people who believe, believe in themselves. And I think that as a doctor, I have to believe in what I do, all right? And I have to believe that what I am trying to accomplish on a day-to-day -day basis is to improve the quality of my patients' lives. I can't necessarily cure every patient who comes to me, but I can do the best I can to comfort them, to support them, and to enhance the quality of what they do. And the tools that I have, other than the interpersonal tools that I've learned from my parents and my father, is really the science. And I try to apply the science on a day-to-day -day basis to improve what I can do for an individual. And, you know, it's not always to cure cancer or to prevent somebody from dying of, of pneumonia, but it's really seeing on a day-to-day -day basis, what can I do so that your life is improved? And one of the very important tools that I have are some of the nutraceuticals. Of course, I have a, a whole book of pharmaceuticals, but I know that pharmaceuticals are associated with a lot of potential, potential downside. So whenever I can use a nutraceutical, a natural product, such as pycnogenol, such as OPC3, so, such as so many of the products you have, it's really important for me to try to do that. Now, this is the product line that you know that's available to all of you. And one of these products, or one of the ingredients, really does stand out. And that product is pycnogenol, which you've heard about, this magical product from France from a tree. And it's been studied for over 40 years. There have been innumerable clinical trials and clinical studies that support its use. And that's really what medicine's all about. It's not just my own personal opinion. It's the opinion of many physicians and many colleagues who have applied you know, their clinical experience and trials to different products. So I'd like to basically just point out two small studies that I think might be interesting to all of you, all right? And it's really part of the theme of improving the quality of people's lives. So let me try to make this personal. First of all, I'm going to re review for you the fact that obviously a lot of people get colds, right? Colds don't kill anybody. By the way, influenza does, but the common cold doesn't. However, let's imagine that it's a Monday or a Tuesday, and you now start having a little sore throat, a little nasal congestion. And you say, God, I think I'm going to come down with a cold. All right? That's Monday or Tuesday. You have now a big party. You have a family event. You have a wedding. You have a date on Friday or Saturday. Okay? That's four days later. What is the likelihood that you're going to be well four or five days later? And how much do you think it's important to you if we could shorten the duration of your illness by 25%, by 30%, by one or two days? I think that would be pretty impressive, right? Well, guess what? When they actually did a study with the use of pycnogenol, and they compared the use of pycnogenol with people who just took the routine treatments for a cold, all right, they were able to reduce the severity and the duration of the illness by more than one or two days. That is very significant. That means on Monday, you're going to be confident that on Friday, you will be able to kiss your boyfriend, right? You'll be able to go to that party, right? That makes a big difference, and that's a quality of life improvement. So if you look at this chart, they actually do these studies. I don't know how they do these studies, but they do. I mean, to get volunteers who have colds and then give them products and see how they do. But look at, look at this study. So they took this group of people and they said, look, you've got a cold, do whatever you want. You want to take some over-the-counter nasal sprays. You want to take some aspirin. You want to take antihistamines. And what they actually discovered was that in the group that was also given pycnogenol. They took less nasal drops. They used less aspirin. They used less antihistamines. Who wants to take an antihistamine? It makes you so tired, it's impossible. 
So less medicine is a positive reason to take pycnogenol. The pycnogenol was not necessarily curing you alone, but it permitted you to have an improved quality of life simply because they were asking you to take less drugs. Now how about, you know, you get a cold and what do you think sometimes happens? Sometimes the cold doesn't last four or five days. Sometimes it lasts eight to ten days. Sometimes you'll have a terrible cough. Sometimes you'll have a cough that can last for months. All right? Sometimes you'll have green, yellow phlegm that comes out. That is, this common cold extends itself. And what they actually showed was that in the individuals who were also taking pycnogenol, they had fewer complications from the common cold. Nobody is telling you it prevents the cold. Nobody tells you it cures the cold. We're telling you that if you take pycnogenol at the first sign of a cold, the likelihood is you're going to feel better sooner. That's called quality of life, and that's pretty acceptable, right? So you tell me during this time of the year why you wouldn't be doing something that is relatively or absolutely harmless. It's very hard for me to say that about almost any product, but I really feel confident because I've only worked with this product for over 20 years that I, I just have no known side effects or intolerances, okay? So what do we say? Shortens the duration, lessens the symptoms, decreases the, your requirement for over-the-counter products. That's a pretty good reason, all right? So that's one simple condition called a common cold. Well, what about another important condition. All of us are concerned about how quick our mind works. It's absolutely amazing what we are asking the brain to participate. And tell me that doesn't affect you every single day. Now obviously, as we get older, many of us have a little diminution, a reduction in our ability to remember things, remember names, remember dates, remember why you went to the refrigerator. Now, of course, if you don't know it's a refrigerator, then you got a real problem, okay? Knowing you know, where your keys are is one thing. Not knowing what a car does, that's a problem, okay? So we know that older people, unfortunately, and as we age, there's a greater risk of cognitive decline. But guess what? This affects people in their 20s and 30s. We're asking people to multitask all day long. We're having people who are sleep deprived, who are jet lagged. What that means is that most of us are not performing at the highest level of cognitive ability. So if I said to you, we have a product that has been shown in several clinical trials, in older people, in younger people, and in children, all right, to affect cognition, to affect attention, to affect focus. That would be a positive force, okay? We're not curing brain cancer. We're not curing Alzheimer's disease. We're simply permitting the body to perform at a higher level. And this higher level will enhance your ability to compete in a society which demands you to function at the highest level. So let's, let's show you what pycnogenol over a 12-week period did. It enhanced multiple different areas of cognitive function, attention, executive function, which means being able to make decisions, being able to prioritize what's important. And how about the last thing, mood? Wouldn't you all like to have a healthy, enhanced, optimistic, positive mood, that's what I was, I was hearing all morning about belief, right? Well, believing is, is, is a feeling of optimism, all right, and that's what we're talking about mood. You shouldn't have to worry in the morning whether you are in a good or bad mood. You should be in a healthy, normal mood, right? Okay, so this is quite, quite impressive. Over a 12-week period, you can see the effects on, you know, the green line is the, is the percentage of improvement in those individuals who took pycnogenol. How about the daily tasks? There's one little area here that does concern me a little bit. I don't know how it improves shopping. I'm a little worried about that one, okay? But I like all of the others. I like the fact that it enhanced your sleeping. Sleeping is, you know, is as important as food and water. So if it helps your sleep, it's going to clearly affect cognition the following day. Coping with problems, moving around. I mean, these are all tests 
and questions that were given to the individuals who were participating in these clinical trials, all right? It's pretty extensive and they're very automatic. You either respond one way or another. You can't make up the data, all right? Mood, look at this. Improved alertness, improved anxiety, and contentedness. A sense of well-being. What I said to you before, that what I'm going to be talking about are quality of life and whether or not you can improve the quality of individuals' lives, all right? Improves daily tasks, positive influence on mood, exactly what I just showed you. And these papers are essentially available to all of you if you want to review how the studies were done, where they were done, the type of clinical trials, all right? But let's keep going. We know, unfortunately, that the brain really is subject to a lot of potential injury. And you need the brain, the nucleus of the brain, the mitochondria, the cells that are within the brain, to function at a high level. And if you don't feed the brain healthy nu nutrients, if you don't sleep, if you're under a lot of stress, the brain cells are not going to perform at the highest level. So it's not terribly surprising that if you supply the brain with healthy nutrients, nutrients that will reduce oxidation and free radical damage, that there is a rationale for why pycnogenol OPC3 products will work, all right? That's the important thing. There's a, there's a rationale behind it. Now, I'm gonna give you just one last example. You know, attention deficit, attention hyper, activity disorder is, is very common. Whether we overdiagnose it or underdiagnose it is somewhat open to question. However, if you have an a overactive child, you know that this is a real, a real issue, all right? Right? We all agree with that, right? Well, I actually see it in the adults. I see these very successful young people who come in complaining of inattentiveness, you know, losing things, a real problem. And unfortunately, the most, and I say unfortunately, the most effective, unfortunately, are some medications. But they've actually shown that pycnogenol in the clinical trials actually improved many of their symptoms. And I'm not telling you this. It's the parents and the teachers said that. So these are the products for your kids. These are your products for the adults. I hope that we've improved the quality of your life, and thank you all very much.